Hey, all you BGs out there. Um, over the last few years, our wing demand has been really high and you guys seem to really love them. So we just decided to take you on a journey to our BG wing town. So let's get started. For this particular smoker, you can set it for a time period to smoke and also set it for a time period to cook. So to start, we're gonna set it at 180 degrees for two and a half hours so that it smokes the wings first. And then we're gonna go for an additional two and a half hours to cook the wings at 285 degrees. We're gonna start by removing the juices from our wings before we season them. You can use any type of dry rub that you like, but our BG dry rub keeps it very simple and uh, use different household spices that you would normally find around your home. So now that our smoker has reached temp, it's holding at a nice 180 degrees. It's time to hop right on that highway straight to Wingtown. And now we wait. Does this thing work? So now that the smoke phase is complete, the temperature on the smoker is gonna go from 180 degrees to 290 degrees in order to cook the wings and start that process. While doing so, we are gonna wrap them just to make sure that they don't dry out and they stay as juicy as possible. After that is done, we're gonna put them right back in the smoker. And they're gonna go for another two and a half hours until they're at 165 degrees. And now we wait some more. Now that our wings have reached an internal tip of 165 degrees, they're ready to be taken off the smoker and they're all done. Now that the wings are all done and finished, this is the final product that you guys have all grown to know and love. This is the dry rub version, but you can also get them Buffalo Tossed, Nashville Hot, Sweet Thai Chili, or Flavor of the Week. And don't forget, you can get any of them charred. So come on in today and get yourself into Wingtown.